Hi, today I'm going to show you how to play Bomb Track. Now, at the beginning, it's um, muted clean sound. Palm muting, basically, bridge right after the bridge of your guitar, or the string starts. So you put your palm down just a little bit, and you create a muted noise. Anyways, it starts off with open E, then second fret, uh, fourth string, um, then open on that string, and then second fret, fifth string, then back to fourth string open, and then you walk down on your pentatonic scale. Um, Second fret of fifth, open fifth, third of sixth, and then you that's that's the um, I guess you could say the main part. So that's your first bit, and then it there's two endings to it. First one is well, I guess you could say three endings. The first ending would be... And then we start our ending. The walk down. That, that'd be our first ending. The second ending would be our high note. So um, at that point, we're fourth string, second fret, and we open on our third. So that's how this is how the beginning would be. And then we'd repeat the first ending three times. And then our third ending be the same as our second one, only we do a hammer on on our third string, open open, second, then pull off. To open again so now when I'm doing the second and third endings I'm not palm muting so it just brings out the noise so this is our beginning so first once second can just listen on to the recording and figure out how many times it goes, and then to get into the next part of the song. And then when we get back to the open of the sixth string, we just slowly build. Um, and then this is the time where you stomp on your distortion, mine's a crunch tone, um, from line six, I, I don't know, whatever. Now this part we're working on F sharp, and it's um, open on the sixth, second fret on the sixth, and then on the fourth, um, your octave on your fourth fret. And then you do um, another, and then a se second fret open, second fret on your sixth. Actually, that would be open second, open second. And then you do back to the octave, and then you drop down two frets. repeat the first little bit, but you wouldn't play, you wouldn't go, you wouldn't put, you wouldn't do the second, second fretter, and then we're going to do another power, um, another chord, uh, C sharp, it's just going to be this, the C sharp on the fifth fret, and it's octave, um, 
second, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth string, and it's octave, sixth fret, third string, and we just go um, cro uh, chromatically down to fret. So it looks like this. second, one in the open. Then what we're going to do is a muted string, so don't press down all the way on the string, so it's like kind of muted, so you can't hear a note really. And then, so it's... starting on this note, and then we're trying to get to this note. Get it? And that's just some more of that. And then we're going to do a little rundown. Um, I'm going to start third finger, fourth string, fourth fret. And then you're going to drop down a whole whole step to the second fret on your fourth string. You're going to drop down to your fifth, uh, and you're up to your fifth on the same fourth fret. And you're going to do chromatically down some to the second fret. And then you're going to hop back down to your the fifth fret on your E, and you're going to do that quarter bend. And so this is what this looks like. And then that repeats, listen to the song, figure out how it goes, and then, and then another thing he does is instead of when he's... I think it's the second or third one that he does. Instead of the bend, he does this. So that's a hammer on. Open on the sixth, hammer on. Open on the fifth, hammer on to the first, fret on the fifth, and pull off to the open again. So. Like that. Pretty simple. And so we work our way through the verse, and. We, instead of, we work, so it goes beginning, first, chorus, first, chorus. At the end of the chorus, we're not going to hold the notes. We're going to go, we're going to go do the chromatic. Then we're going to do another build up. Then we're going to jump up to the octave chord for our E, which is on the ninth of the fifth. And we're going to also do the octave, which is, well, the, the seventh of the fifth string, 7th fret, 5th string, and ninth of the 3rd fret, so you get this one, so. And what I'm doing with my pick is I'm just going in 16th, up and down, kind of tremolo picking. And, well, it's not really tremolo picking, but it's, it's fast. I did it wrong and went up too many octaves. It, it, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways. And I'll do the solo on my next video. <laughs>